Welcome to Sci Fi, the show where we talk about five scientific and technological innovations that happened this week. I'm Chris Shea Kirk, and this week we'll be talking about monarch butterfly migrations, extrasolar dust, and more. This week, a group of researchers at the University of Vienna have created a substance that they say is twice as strong as graphene. Graphene has all sorts of scientific applications and consists of one flat sheet of carbon connected in hexagonal grids. There are many ways to measure strength when it comes to material components. In this case, we're referring to tinsel strength or its ability to bend or manipulate without breaking. This new carbon structure consists of small rolled up pieces of graphene into tubes that fill one another. Named carbine, this rolled up ball of molecules is 6,400 chains long. With this new discovery, we hope to advance material sciences for small technological devices that require higher durability. Every year, the monarch butterfly takes a several thousand mile trip from North America to central Mexico. The migration itself is well understood, except for the understanding of how the monarch butterflies navigate that entire distance. Recent discovery shows that their eyes helped in their navigation, but that factor alone is not significant enough over the distance. The new findings suggest that a genetic clock within their antennae play a crucial role along with their tracking systems in their eyes to find the central Mexico breeding grounds. Scientists at the Columbia University have been attempting to develop a camera lens that can see 360 degrees and become flexible. In the past, flexible lenses have been attempted. However, there usually is interference or blockage from the structure of this lens itself. The new prototype made of silicon lets the focal point vary with curvature. This means there would be no missing information from lens deformation. Now, with this new technology, photographers may only need one lens for any type of photograph they need to take. Recently, the Cassini spacecraft, which was bound for Saturn, has picked up 36 pieces of microscopic dust. Upon further study, it was revealed that the dust was traveling at 45,000 miles per hour, or fast enough to escape our sun's gravitational influence. It was made from magnesium, silicon, iron, and calcium. From these two points of data, scientists have concluded that the small grains of dust are not from our solar system and are the first discovery of extrasolar dust ever. Scientists at Rice University have been using electromagnetism to manipulate carbon nanotubes in a new process called teslaphoresis. Teslaphoresis has been found to be able to create circuitry and wires at a distance through the electromagnetic force without any physical connection. In the process, scientists have found that you can create wires that can span long distances simply by applying an electromagnetic force to water-bound carbon nanotubes. It has also been found to be able to self-repair, even while completely destroyed, by applying the same electromagnetic field this is a completely new field, and a whole array of products could be created from its discovery. That's all for this week, and we'll see you next time on Sci Five. Yeah, it's just as you assume, and it's nothing but these humans would like to blame mythology for everything they're doing. They pray for non existent gods to clean up the mess, but never take responsibility, just claim it's a test. See that religion you've been given is shit, and it's all poison. And it's partially the reason we bleed, and it's all poison. Your worldview is poison, and your outlook is poison. Denied all you want, but the truth is it's all poison.